the slogan now, according to Ash, you come ugly, but look, now you pretty. Good morning and welcome to the first day of the vlog. I don't know what bullshit or what stuff will come out of my gut, but you can be excited. Cause this week I'm gonna do some work on my clinic. This is the best thing I've done. And I hope this thing will work. I'm gonna go and finish my course today. Well, okay, look, this is the thing about aesthetics and probably a lot of, like every other career out there, you never stop learning, but unfortunately the courses which you go on are incredibly expensive. So you want to learn another little technique. It's a, a lot of money. So what I'm going to do is focus on just getting the clinic up to scratch, bring a bit of money in from my wonderful clients who are going to come and and allow me to inject them uh, and then I'll go to some more courses because there's something that I really want to do do you know what I really would like to do um, is a b liquid BBL a liquid Brazilian butt lift because it's quite a big thing it's quite popular and you know my bum could certainly do with a bit more mass <laughs> you know you watch watch this video and just see if I change you know because I'm sure that I will get better. I, if if I'm right, I might make a little few fuckers to my own face every so often, uh, meaning maybe go a little bit over the top. I hope I won't, but really, I'm just wanna, you know, be the model on which all of the faces are based. <laughs> I'm so full of it. You know, I don't think like that. Or do I? I might do. I don't know. All right. that I don't delete all my freaking footage today. There was not a lot extra last week which I deleted for you but right now I'm going to make sure that I don't fuck everything up. I'm going to draw the grid. Yeah, I don't know where it is. So now that's everything completed, I am officially an aesthetician who can do it. I'm not joking, a shit ton of stuff. This has cost so much money, so much work, but you know, I'm, I'm really pleased. But now, now some more hard work begins. Over to b and I'm gonna have a look at some cupboards for the walls and then back over to the clinic. Maybe I need to buy some paint now while I'm going to b and This makes sense, doesn't it? Being a few time. Oh, if I can find everything I'm looking for in here. New boyfriend, maybe? Doubt it. I have to stick with some shit for the salon instead. I've got my pain. I've got everything what I need. I think this is enough of everything. Five pounds, great value every day. That's five pounds. Maybe I'll just get rid of that, that roller. No, I'll get two rollers. I'll get one tray, two rollers, one tray. Ash has got a new car. Ash has got a Fiat Abarth with somebody. Dun, 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 dun. So this is like a massive, massive engine. Um, anyway, we're gonna go. Saving all my life. This is 1.4, what's this tune to at the moment? Hey! 1.4 engine, oh my god! It's like a little monster, this is a... So this is a Fiat 595, and I think the general horsepower on these is like 140, 150, but you can get them tuned all the way up, and there's so many modifications you can make on that. So this is his new, because now he's a Chelsea Hello. boy, 
He's a Chelsea boy. He's moving to Chelsea, so he got rid of his yeah. big Range Rover. I know he's got like the most powerful. Big change. Yeah, massive change. But this is like the most powerful small car you can get. Uh, and very expensive. It's like a go car. Don't you have a, do you want to drive? Yeah, I do. I want to have a little go. Do you drive? Do you drive? That's your turn, John. Yeah. So I just arrived down back in the salon, brought some stuff, and look, we've got the logo here, so Tristan touches that. And what's more importantly is the slogan now, according to Ash, you come ugly, but look, now you pretty. What do you think? Yeah, that's good. And that's what... You make Peter pretty. Up the stair, down the stair. <laughs> Are you ugly lady? You want to be pretty? You go downstairs. John make yeah, you yeah, pretty. Yeah, yeah. We do know this. It's like looking at me. Come on then, if we're not. You know how much I love you. You're such a beautiful girl. She's so beautiful. Okay, you're beautiful as well, but you get all the attention. It's one to be next to me all the time. Come on then. You will oh, 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 I went back to the salon and I started painting. Um, I'm gonna go back tomorrow again. I'm gonna do some work on the computer, but you know. Yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa. But I'm gonna continue. I should get it done in two days. I'm so freaking excited. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, 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 I've got this method now where Millie doesn't pull. So if you see that I've got a wrap round and snout, and I did this to Jack for about three months and he just stopped pulling and now she's not pulling. Son is pulling. Not a lot with me, but he is. Ow! So I've done lots of painting. So I've done that door just there, all the door time inside and out. I've done the kitchen, inside, the whole kitchen, oh, oh, this is all the wood by the way, door, inside and out, um, bathroom, you can see I've boxed those pipes up just there and painted them, and then done all the shelves just there, so that looks better, I'm going to replace that mirror, put a tile behind here to make it look nice, so the bathroom will be nice and cute. And you know, there's a door here, the sliding door, it was never painted, it just was put on as it was. But I've painted that now as well, so that's um, all good. And it's really late, it's 11 o'clock at night. You know, I've got to stop because I'm back here tomorrow as soon as I get up. <sighs> you know, just, I gotta just plow on it. And I enjoy, it's very ther therapeutic, but I can tell I'm getting tired now because I'm starting to hallucinate. <laughs> all the doors still need doing again. Look, these white, you know, the ones that I haven't been painted before. Could do with not doing two coats. I have no choice. The, co the doors have to be done again, like this one here. This one was never painted before, so you can see it's all patchy. Um, and then obviously the main one, which you walk in. I really wanted to get on with some other stuff. It's okay, you know, I'm just gonna put stuff away. I've started putting a few bits away, um, and I've made the bathroom start to make it nice, even though I haven't painted it. I've put like a few bits and bobs on the shelf, and put that tile behind there and then I took the mirror from the bathroom and I'm ordered, I've ordered a new one of these. Would you like, I've got my painting gloves on. Because <laughs> I brought some of my stock as well. I've got some like disposable syringes which I'll obviously use when painting. That shelf is gonna be very good. Because a lot of people use a trolley, but that is absolutely ideal. Because it means that I can prep all my stuff and have it on that shelf ready to use. And you know, oh, actually it's really good, that shelf. That shelf can use it. I've almost done with the white woodwork, but I um, I think I'm gonna, well, I've just about run out, so I thought I'd get another one. It's taken such a long time. And it's midday now, I've had like my brunch, as well as my breakfast. But I'm just gonna continue working until I can get, well, until I start seeing double, like yesterday. Because yesterday, it got to that point when I was painting that I couldn't see properly from, you know, the white, what I was painting. Oops, my, um, and my eyes were going funny, but, um, I've still got a lot of hours in me. Yeah, this stuff is 
sneezing from the smoke. Whilst I've been busy working, she's been busy in the kitchen burning the food, which I really appreciate. I'm not joking, I came back, it was like <coughs> <coughs> she pan fried the chicken and that smoke was acrid. You know because when it's this is how old it should be over. It's not a dry fact all this. Actually actually it is look. Marinated the chicken cold side you It looks really nice. It's not a lot of it. There's more. I don't want more. I'm joking. I don't want more. <laughs> You're not really supposed to paint these walls until they're completely dry, but I'm painting this with white to start with. It's not 100% dry, but I'm painting this one white to start with because there are different colours going on. And um, I've done the other room ceilings. Um, I haven't done this ceiling because there was some water damage, so I'm covering it with metal and wood paint. And then hopefully it'll seal it a little bit because I tried with this paint and it just keeps coming through. And that means that I'll probably have to wait until tomorrow until it's dry to do that bit of the ceiling. So you know, now it's 5.30, I've been at it for eight hours, more or less, non more or less non-stop. I haven't taken much of a break. Um, yeah, that'll be all right. And then, you know, do the ceiling. And then do the rest of the walls. So I've done all the woodwork, more or less. It's funny because when I look around this place, it doesn't feel like I've done anything. And it's things like the ceiling, which take an age. <sighs> cleaning the floor, cleaning the paint from the floor, which I'm constantly doing. Cleaning brushes. Oh my God, it's all right. You see, for you, my life is just a blip. Deja vu. But now, you know, in this room, I'm starting with this room, I'm sort of putting on the pebble paint, pebble colored paint. Um, Excited. It's going to take me fucking ages. <laughs> One run down, a shit ton to go. It hasn't dried yet, but you can see the color it's going to be, it's just like a, what well, is called polished pebble. Um, just looks grey, just like very light grey to me. Painting a hair now. Everything's all with paint. Everything's all with paint at the moment. It's so annoying. And beauty. 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 What? Beautiness isn't even a word. Oh, John. No, 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 no. Come on, you've got. She put Vaseline on this time, which is really good, and it helps. Is it Yeah. So it doesn't save the skin, because every time I see Dalma when she's dyed her hair, and the last time I did it, it takes about three or four days for all the little stains to go. And it's not dry. It's not dry. I'm gonna show you this back wall. I don't know if I like it, but I'm gonna have it, you know. I just want one wall which is slightly different. I'm sorry, I do. And then if it's really bad, look, this room's fine now. This room's all like really super cool. Um, and it's nice to come that's dry. But, oh, did I tell you I put the cupboard in? Did you see that? <laughs> um, but look, that's what I've started. And I know it looks too dark, but I'm going to do up the whole of the black wall. And it's taken me ages to do this. But, you know, I just want one wall which is a contrast, which is me. And remember, I want to bring the like black and gold theme so I can have gold things over there. Once everything's dried and the sofas are cleaned up, um, and by the way, it's not that colour, it is a charcoal, it's lighter than that, it just needs to dry more. Um, I'm a bit worried because it's really dark at the moment. No, look, it looks okay. I'm gonna go to bed, I'm so tired. And I'm back again tomorrow. <laughs> Fuck. What are you doing? <laughs> He's a weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but the, I kind of like them. 
because they're real, you know, rather than getting fake ones. My leg is so bad, my hip. I slept with the blanket, the heated blanket on all night last night. And I've got ibuprofen gel on, I've taken paracetamol. But I just still have to keep going. And I'm hoping that I can finish at a reasonable time so maybe I can go and lay back in bed. I have to finish. All the little details like in the corners where the black is. I need to an artist brush so I can get right into the corners. I've got nothing for the shelves, nothing for the walls yet. Yeah. Nice sleep. I've got a massive guilt complex. I haven't been spending any time with the dogs at all. Just to finish the painting and stuff off it. I've done now, I've done well, I've done the like the walls and everything. I feel like I have to do much more. I feel like I have to do more, but I do. I have to do a little bit of the wood touching up, which I'm gonna do now. But I've ordered the stock. Apart from the Botox, I can't. So you have to get a pharmacist to write your prescription to order stock. And I can't get hold of the pharmacist. And I really wanted to order um, some anti-wrinkle Botox and some, um, you got to have the special water, what you inject into people when you mix it with the Botox. And um, I can't get hold of it. But the fillers will be here and the skin boosters will be here tomorrow. And that's important because Ross is gonna be our first victim, I think. He wants micro needling again and a skin booster. So I've ordered all that anyway. <laughs> so tired. <laughs> so tired. <laughs> so much work. Do you want to see what I've done? Poor oh, it stinks. Okay, that's some stuff what I need to dry. But you can see I've painted this wall and I've done all the way up to the top. I still have to do the stairs and stop hair from falling out because on the salon it comes out underneath here so i'm gonna put some stuff there put some stuff on the stairs to stop it coming down um and i ran out of paint but there's going to be a curtain there because that's the storage so where that paint finishes see the white there's going to be storage and going to be a curtain for the storage um in here look this is what i've done I'm so, so tired, but I've done a lot of work. So I've cleaned up all the paint from the floor, well, more of it, more or less of it. This is the area so far. Obviously, I need to get nice things. Logo on the wall just there. Pictures just there. And then, this room's been cleaned, nice. So this is the treatment room. That's where I'm gonna sit and inject. The bathroom. I put this, this my mum and I made that. So I kind of mixed up gold and silver, so I used this and I've got like little details, like this little brass knob. Um, and everything's cleaned. The floor needs doing again, you know, because I am going to treat the floor, by the way, I've got some stuff to do, but I need to get all the paint up. There's still some little specks. And then the kitchen's just the kitchen. Um, all my crap's behind there, what's not clean. There's bits of paint everywhere, but I've got the thick up. Um, and that's it. I am absolutely shattered. Shattered. Oh. Absolutely good. I'm really so tired. And um, <clears throat> I've ordered so much stock. Thousands of pounds worth of stock. I have to start making some money now. So I've got Ross coming tomorrow for my first client. Actually, probably my first client in the salon, you know, which is great. Um, hopefully it comes tomorrow, but the stuff that I had to order from the pharmacist, that's not gonna arrive until I get back. I'm pretty damn sure of it.
starting to take the car in to get the window done for our travel down to Devon tomorrow. I have just got so much to do um, and I was late bringing the car in because all the products which I ordered yesterday which were going to be delivered today I did something wrong and they're not going to be delivered until tomorrow now it's a nightmare wait well, it's not a nightmare it's okay for me it's just not good for Ross because Ross is coming tonight for his mesotherapy I might put him off and tell him to come tomorrow then he can have um, Jalup um, Profilo done and um, mesotherapy done or maybe feels me so if you done today and then come some anyway let me see what he says you know he might not want to come tomorrow he might be busy but he's got a book he's got um, a viewing in Fulham that's why it would have been ideal and I could, still can't get hold of the well I managed to get hold of the girl for the prescription to get all the Botox but uh, she's not reading her messages um, I think I've sent everything right oh, let's see I just think I'll take my um oh, I did, I did delivery. Loads of needles and stuff, lots of equipment. Oh, and something else. I'll just put my coat here on the coat. Oh, 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 very nice. Close the door. You know, because I know that when somebody comes in this room, especially the ladies, they're gonna want to bring their coats and bikes. Um, so they can stick it there. There you go, my dad. I'll just massage your face for you. Look, and then this is like also doubles up as a massage chair so they can turn over and they can slap them on the back of the head like that. I need to call my friend Paul. I, I, um, I, I, I'm panicking. I, I, I don't know if you ever do this. I've got so much on. I can't get my head around everything. And look, the day, my day hasn't even started. And it's quarter to two. Um, I just... John, chill out, chill out. Don't want, I just feel an anxiety building up. Anyway, the reason why I'm saying this to my friend Paul is I need to postpone his website completion. So I'm thinking I'm gonna work over the weekend. Actually, I can work over the weekend, can work Saturday and Sunday. I think that will be better. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't wanna get into that state where I'm you know, going to panic stations. That's really unhealthy for me, not at this stage. Okay, I have my first client. Not I, that I need anything. Not that he needs anything. Just my teeth brushed. But, <laughs> he didn't brush his teeth. And he brought me, look at that, how nice. My client brought me, my client brought me a coffee, which apparently he's masturbated in. And I don't have dairy, so that's great, really. And I, I do need a bit of protein. Honestly, he's my first client, so he's gonna have micro needling. I mean, in the salon. So he's gonna have micro needling in the salon. Not that needed. Okay. <laughs> Keep telling yourself that. <laughs> I told Ash that you want your hair and beard done as well, so he's oh. gonna sort, sort you out. Well, sort you up. Just pay him. He might yeah. take the money, but. No. Okay, nice time. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. Are you comfortable, Rossi? Yeah, you won't be in a minute. <laughs> Let me get my sharpest needle out. So tired. <laughs> yeah, do this nose to mouth. You actually, it's not bad, you know. What? You've got your skin's pretty good, Ross, for somebody of your age. My forehead ain't. It's like fucking roadmap. I had my first client, Rossi. And uh, I've actually got another client booked in for Saturday. Welcome back from Devon. Oh, it's all exciting stuff. Don't get me wrong, I've got, I'm behind in everything, and you probably noticed about watching these vlogs why they came out so sporadic. It's because I've been so busy. But you know, things will settle down, and I can get back into a, an easier routine. So these vlogs are going to keep going out, hopefully more regular. Mm. I know what you're thinking, but I know exactly what you're thinking. John must be having a bath and getting ready for a funeral, and that's exactly what's happening. So, <laughs> this is all prep, but... <laughs> oh, it's too hot! <sighs> Ever since I stopped going to the gym, even though I haven't necessarily been getting 
Fuck. Uh, that's good. I've been shrinking. I've been seeing from the box. Look at this. So these are all my aesthetics. And I have now, so I have Profilo Skin Booster, Gelupro, which is a skin booster, and I have a Reginu, which is, this is deep, subcutaneous, and fine. So I've got three lots of filler, all different strengths, and two skin boosters. So that's one lot of stuff which has come from one place, which was expensive. <laughs> And then the next lot, which is coming, is also really expensive. And that's from the pharmacy. More stuff coming from Amazon today. And I don't have a lot of time. I, I just don't have a lot of time at all to do anything. Um, I've got to go and see my head shrinkage person because I had a message saying, you need to continue like linearly. You can't just stop. I, I, and, I, and I know it's right. And I've got some more sessions, you know, to go. So I'm going to pick it back up again from today. I couldn't, you know, last week. On Wednesday, I can't remember what I was doing. I was, oh yeah, I was building the wall. And the time before, I was in the treatments and I was in the training, so I couldn't do anything about it. But I've got to get myself mentally fit, healthy. Oh, do you know what? Aren't things getting better for me? I think they are. They are. And don't get me wrong, Daniel and I, I saw him yesterday. We're good. You know, when we're not together, but we're good. And I'm all right, and Daniel's okay. I need time by myself, and this is funny, I'm starting to find who I am. It's fucking late in life, isn't it? <laughs> I want my psychology thing. Okay. It's my side. No, because I'm in a good place at the moment. And you're saying, oh, you book. Tell me about when you feel like shit. When I. I told you about when I felt like shit, I feel alright. It was really pushing me. But when you're in a bad place, I'm like, oh, shut up, Will. You know? <laughs> don't, want to, don't want to talk about that. Yeah, but we're in this. Anyway, I got some shul and a banana because they're giving away fresh produce. But I don't think shul was. Shul berry, ready to drink. I've got to get some funeral clothes. Find some um Ooh, my legs. This lobby three, okay. I think H and M's around here. Just wanna get some cheap shirt. Well trousers and a shirt really what fits me. I've gone down to a size 32 waist. I've lost a lot of weight. I just got I'm gonna keep losing weight as well. I've got some like black jeans. Oh, there's this polo neck as well. Uh, you know, I haven't worn a polo neck for a long time, and I got a t-shirt. I don't know if I'm gonna. Oh, it's slim fair. Oh, it's okay. It's a medium. So I'm gonna see what looks good. I need to get some more black jeans anyway for my new work, my for work. Um, and then I'll probably get the t-shirt. I don't think I wear that polo neck. Look, watch. Relax. Relax. I'm gonna be breathing in all the time. I remember. My breasts look good. Oh my god, it's so tight. I don't like it. I feel like I'm wearing a stocking. That's better. You know, it's a little bit baggy around there. And then I look okay in this. You know? I'm going to do my eyes when I get back. I've got a massive bag on my back there. I've been shopping. I hope you appreciate this because I've got all these nice and deep knacks and ornaments really carefully thought out which I'm going to put on the shelving units in the clinic um, I like them, you know, I think you'll like them as well and if you don't, you can fuck yourself of course I can't do anything about it now, I've bought them My legs man, this is the back of Westfield you know, what a mess, it's disgusting but these are like the emergency stairs because the lifts have to be out of order. Chewing gum. Let me see if we can get to these lifts. Ross and I are going on a very exciting trip. On holiday, aren't we? We're going to have lots of fun. <laughs> 
we got you. <laughs> We're actually going to um, his half brother's funeral, which is really not ideal. It would be nice to be away for a few days. And he said, can you stay a bit longer? But I can't get anybody to look after the dogs and I don't really want to ask Daniel. But look, I just noticed my job. So we dropped them off at a seat. <laughs> He wouldn't even come in the house. He's like, oh, I'm not coming in with my dog, Calvin. It's too much for him. She was vicious, that ginger bitch. Was she, she growling? Oh, my poor little Frenchie, Mr. Calvin. <laughs> I was down in the clinic and um, I've used some of my stock, so I did my jaw. I mean, my look, you can see, you can see it's like a bit more elongated than defined. Um, not like Ross's, which is completely natural. You've got it or you haven't. He hasn't. And I did skin boosters on my eyes, which Ross really needs because his skin's terrible at the moment. Yeah, I think so. It is. It's really, it's really old and look wrinkly. at that. Look, look at that. You're next to me. Yeah, but I've just done my skin boosters. Anyway, it's dark. I look fine. <laughs> but I can see my jaw now. <laughs> Stretched your ears. <laughs> I need to do my temp. I need to do my temples. That's really, you know, the temples are a really important bit to do. My eyeballs are all swollen up. We don't want the KFC. Ross says he don't want anything. I am gonna have a burger. And um, burgers, they go box meals, sharing. Mm, box meals. Mm. 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 Expensive, it's just, you go out, I've just bought a few fries and then a burger. It's like 10 quid, two coffees, still a quid. You know, how can you afford to sort of go out and eat out all the time? You can't. I just felt my threads come out. Thanks. Coffee's ready. So tired. Oh, you just have to be playing up to the camera. You'd be like, no, oh, a bit of energy. Oh my god. Yeah, I know, but you've been talking. the camera on, and you're like, oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't drive another mile. I am tired, though. My eyes are hurting. That's probably because I fucked my eyes up. Well, they look a bit swollen. Yeah, it's because like yeah. you're so tired. Yeah. <laughs> it's nothing to do with the amount of fucking project just injected in there. Yeah. Nothing at all. No. Absolutely no. nothing. This is the hotel here, just on the right. There's Where do we park? I think there's parking there. Is on your left. What? The on the left? Yeah. Right. No, here. This is the hotel. Welcome. Good right, right, right. Oh. Slow down. It's so fucking fast! It's so fast and walk, it's annoying.